Good morning, everybody. It's very early. It's like 510 <laughs> Wednesday morning. And um, yeah, I haven't been up very long. And I just wanted to do a quick video on motivation um, and staying the course on Weight Watchers or whatever plan that you might be on. Um, I have a couple of friends who joined Weight Watchers recently online and I'm freaking pumped. You don't even know. It's so much easier <clears throat> to be in this company of like-minded people who want to lose weight and are doing what you're doing to, to lose the weight. And that's, in my case, Weight Watchers. Um, my husband is using something called iTrack Bites. It's kind of like Weight Watchers, only it's free. Um, but honestly, I'm willing to pay the $19.95 a month. My hair is doing crazy things. All right, let's not squirrel have squirrel moments here. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm willing to pay the $19.95 a month that it is um, to be on Weight Watchers because I know it totally works. Um, I mean, how am I going to hold this? My arm was getting tired. Um, yeah, it totally works. And the, if, you, if you're not on Weight Watchers and you're considering it, Lord have mercy. Come on now. This is not good this early in the morning. Um, I strongly urge you to <clears throat> look at their frequently asked questions page they have on their website um, and check out every feature that they have that's new. Uh, one of the things on their on their phone app um, is something called Connect, and that's and I may have touched on this before. I don't know, but um, Connect is you know when you're having a moment to where I really want this cake that some coworker of mine brought in the office or you know <clears throat> in one of my friends cases who shall rename remain nameless but she knows who she is who is very um, like how can I put this she has programmed herself to have ice cream after dinner and a big bowl of ice cream. Um, you know, it's times like that and moments of weakness that you really want support and, um, you know, you need the support that you go and you reach out to someone or anyone on Connect. You write your feelings out like, I just want to devour this whole box of Oreos or whatever it is. And you do get instantaneous responses back. Um, <clears throat> I've been on Weight Watchers two and a half weeks now. And my last weigh-in was this past Sunday. And I have lost a total of seven pounds. And I'm, I'm good with it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I was not starting this till I hit the record button. The first two weeks are going to be the hardest, in my opinion, to stick with any weight loss effort at all, um, to stick with any type of eating program and plan at all. Um, a friend of mine asked me, okay, how can one person have so many points per day and I only get so many points per day? I get way less than this other person. The answer to that is, I believe um, Weight Watchers calculates from, I know they do from weight, but also by your age and your gender, and maybe even your height, I can't remember. I know it's based on your age, your gender, and your weight to be sure, and that's why that person gets way more points than you. That being said, and this really is directed at this certain friend of mine, that she knows who she is and she knows I love her bunches um, who goes over her points almost daily um, she gets 30 points a day and honestly that's a lot of food because 16 points is like 24 ounces of chicken breast around abouts um, and that's a lot of chicken because 3 ounces is a serving <laughs> um, yeah you have to reevaluate what you're taking to work with you um, some things are just not the healthiest of options like um, I don't know if she does this or not but for example my husband does 
um, he takes these fruit bars, you know, like Nutri-Grain stuff, sort of stuff to work for snacks, and it's not healthy, you know. I encourage you to take um, fruits and veggies. Um, it's okay to take little snacks like that. Try Fiber One, but honestly, as small as they are, I don't feel like they're worth the four points that most of them are. But you have to find a balance there, and you have to really want weight loss. You've got to crave that weight loss more than you crave the food. You get me? You've got to crave the weight loss more than you crave the food. And if you're not there mentally, then you need to reevaluate. I'm talking to everybody. What is mentally stopping you? Are you afraid to get down to a certain size? Are you afraid of the attention, the good attention that you might be getting? Um, when you do get down to that size, what is it that's holding you back? Um, that's it for now. I just kind of wanted to give some words of encouragement. Know that I am here. I will answer anyone who who messages me. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, all that stuff. And if you go to my main page here on YouTube, all the links are there. Um, I may even put them below too, so you can follow me there. Alright guys, love ya, and I'll talk to you later.